Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'm going to be discussing a component I've released quite some time ago, and I'm getting a lot of questions dealing with the Masso uh, integrated controller and how you can use it with the G540, cutting down your labor and cost massively. So what I've got here is the cable that's sealed, just to show you guys how it comes. I now I've got one also that's open. And this is not your ordinary DB25 cable. First of all, this unit is manufactured with metal. Totally different than most DB25s. The second thing is, is it's double shielded, okay? So all of the leads that are coming into this are double shielded for direct communication. Now what you have here is a breakout of every pin that has for rules installed and they're numbered. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if you're using a Masso and you want to shorten your labor down dramatically and get the warranty of three years using an American Drive Gecko Drive G540, all you have to do is plug this unit in and now you have a full breakout of all the pins. You would then simply take all of the allocated pin numbers and match them and plug them in to your actual Masso. And that will give you the breakout of all the drives from the motherboard. Now what does that mean? That means once again, and I'm just saying this because unless you've built an individual drive system, also known as an IDS system, you will find that your labor, just your labor, not even associated with parts, but your labor alone is hours to complete that. Many guys do not want to deal with that. Many guys want to hit the road running, so to speak. <clears throat> and this is the fastest way to do it. And the best part is you don't have to modify the 540. You're just plugging the cable in. Everything is done for you and just match the leads based on the port allocation I would provide you when you purchase the drive. So, again, you can use whatever you'd like with this cable. It also works great for breakout boards. If you wanted to do an individual pinout for certain circumstances where, per se, you'd want to expand the system, you could do that as well. I mean, ultimately, what you're doing is a reverse breakout of the connector that's installed. In this case, it is a female parallel port DB25. So looking at this, you can see the amount of time it saves. Now, typically, these cables, and I can tell you right now, you can go on Mauser, you can go on DigiKey, and look up what these cables cost they are usually over a hundred dollars this is double shielded you can see right here mylar foil temperature rated all for rules installed it does also have the shield drain identified by uh, the full black casing lead and this is 65 bucks now the unit's only three foot in length and we do that because this is a communication cable once again working as uh, a typical breakout board would use uh, most of the time, you're going to be fine with that. <clears throat> In the event you're not, we can work on different solutions for that. I don't recommend really going past three foot unless it's absolutely necessary because, again, this is working as a reverse breakout board. It's not the same as a typical DB25 cable. We want to make sure everything is filtered properly. And this way it assures all of your signals. And you can see we've got about a foot here that is not shielded. And that's fine. I mean, you can still put a ferrite here if you're using this for a really high noise situation. Um, I would include one with it if you message me, uh, if you're dealing with a plasma system. But under general circumstances with a Masso or similar integrated controller, I cannot emphasize how easy it is to integrate a 540 using this cable. That was what it was originally designed for, is to do it with any drive. Uh, I also get questions on lead shine drives. It will work with a lead shine drive as well. The whole goal here is to make it simple for you to expand your system, simple for you to build your system, simple for you to service the system, and make it overall a very low cost investment to give you bulletproof performance. So again, I hope I've answered all questions. If you guys want to put a combo together with this, let me know. I'll do my best for pricing. Uh, once again, I thank you all for your support. Take care.